Hi there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd, and today I wanted to talk to you about beneficial insectaries because it's kind of going off right now. It's spring, flowers are blooming, and pests are being controlled by the beneficial insects that you attract to your garden. What is a beneficial insectary? It is exactly that. It is a plant that flowers, that attracts good bugs to the garden, that eat the bad bugs, or you know, ward off the bad bugs in your garden. So when you look around, you can see there's a, <laughs> that was a chicken. So if you look around me, I'm surrounded by things like poppies and nasturtiums and calendula, and they're all doing a job. Now you hear me talk about beneficial insectaries a lot because they're important. I may have a couple of bottles of pest control on my shelf, but I never use them because these guys are doing the work for me. When you grow flowers that attract good bugs to the garden, they police the garden for you. They also serve another purpose. Some of them can attract bugs away from your garden, like nasturtiums, for example, Burp, over here. Like nasturtiums, for example, they attract, they're kind of a trap crop. So they attract bugs to them and away from your broccoli. So why wouldn't you wanna grow as many of these as possible? Take a look around. You can see what we have growing on here. You can see in the picture, there are California poppies, nasturtiums, some calendula, and then there's even some milkweed, which of course is important for butterflies. You'll also see things like parsley that's going to seed. So when parsley bolts to seed, it sends up an umbrella shaped flower, which you can see. And that umbrella-shaped flower attracts one of my favorite pests to the garden. It's called a parasitic wasp. And parasitic wasps poke holes in aphids and lays their young inside them. Yay! So you can get this benefit from any of the flowers in the umbelliferae family. So that's cilantro, parsley, dill, fennel, celery, if you let that go to seed, and flowers like alyssum and yarrow. You can see other beneficial insectaries here as well, like borage and trumpet flower. And they help feed hummingbirds and bees as well. In your garden, be a little bit lazy and let things go to seed. Around me, I haven't planted these in years. We live in a warm winter climate and they go to seed every year and every year they come back on their own. So if you live in a place where it doesn't get too cold over winter, these seeds will re-germinate every year and you only have to plant them once. Your garden also benefits from other types of laziness. For example, you can see these onions here. When you let them bolt to seed, they start to produce a big fluffy flower that bees love. Pollinators will come by and visit and then they'll pollinate your garden while they're at it. There are all kinds of flowers that you can grow that will help attract beneficial insects to your garden. Check with your native plant society first to see what native plants you should put in your garden because native bees benefit best from native plants. But for other creatures like parasitic wasps and tachnid flies and surfeit flies and all the other really good bugs that help prevent pests in your garden, grow these guys. So plant some beneficial insectaries in your garden and let them do the work for you. For more information about growing your own food, other beneficial insectaries, go to gardennerd.com. And if you like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in the button below. Click the notification bell so you'll get notified next time we have a video that comes online. And if you really like our work, please become a Patreon subscriber and help us do more videos for you. Happy gardening.